I think Transcending Obscurity Records is one of the more happening labels right now. They released several critically acclaimed albums in 2018 alone, including one of my favorites, which was Heads for the Dead's Serpent's Curse. They've also released one of my favorite albums that I heard in 2018 that actually came out the year before. It was the sophomore album of an Indian brutal death metal band by the name of Gutslit. So ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, this is Amputheater. In a nutshell, Gutslit's musical output can best be described as brutal death metal with some degree of grindcore mixed in. They got it going on where their rudiments are concerned. You have your technically proficient yet uncompromising brutality. You have your drums out to pummel everything down with relentless assaults. You have your solid face punch riffs. You have your gutturals talking about different torture methods all day long. One method per song. And then you have... The bass. Not real talk, whoever mixed that bass should be given a fucking medal because the bass in Amputheater isn't just audible, it's fucking mean. It's sharp and nearly pop tones add greatly to the music. I mean, just hearing it cut right into the very brunt of everything is enough to make you go out and bite someone's face off. Mainly faces of those who think bass is optional. All of this translates to some vicious and pretty goddamn heavy riffs bludgeoning your face in. The songs in Amputheater usually move through a few very hard-hitting sections and keep twisting, turning, and shifting styles and tempos, blending together these across wonderfully winding paths. The album positively shines on this point, because the song flows are impeccable, never allowing for any breaks in the continuity, despite the fact that most changes made are sudden and sharp. Another good thing is that while it's vital violent and harsh throughout, Gutslit don't really get stuck on one type of riff or one speed. They move around quite a bit, which is definitely good since being one note never helped anyone, no matter how brutal you think you may be. Furthermore, there are some very good solos in the songs Necktie Party, Brazen Bull and Blood Eagle that show off some impressive instrumental chops and an ability to move beyond just brutality, which keeps things very interesting. Speaking of which, which Necktie Party would also be a good example of how Gutslit likes to switch up their tempos. It's the type of track that rises and falls, ebbs and flows, slows down and speeds up, all the while keeping itself anchored firmly to the menacing riffs. Unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and guts strewn across roses. Amputheater suffers primarily from structural problems that lessens its overall impact quite a bit. To start, the album opens on the bass of my fucking existence, the ambient intro. I mean, I've said it before and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say it again and again. This is a pointless thing to do, especially in an album like this. With an approach this blunt and this direct, what is so fucking wrong with just starting the album with the first song? I mean, I'd rather get punched right in the face with an opening slam or a riff or a bass drop or anything but this minute-long separate track that I'm going to skip every time I listen to this. The other major and infinitely more serious problem is that Amputheater starts to run out of power about halfway through. Blood Eagle is the first sign of things taking a turn for the weaker. The song's main riff and the ascending interval bridge section are both very nice, but overall it leans a little too heavily on the borderline between keeping up the momentum admirably and being somewhat forgettable. That particular line is crossed with the track Brodequin, which is unremarkable to say the least. And the track right after that, Maraschino Eyeballs, might as well not even be there because it just passes by without leaving a trace or an impression. I mean, I really like this album, but even after many, many listens, I still find myself starting to space out right there. Things seem to snap back on track with Scafism, and the band manages to somewhat bring it home with the final track, Death Hammer. But neither of these songs make the same impression 
compact as any of the earlier ones. Deathhammer is a special kind of offender because it isn't as good a closer as it should be, and given how strongly things started, that the whole album follows a bell curve and ends up right below the line is just regrettable. Despite these problems, and despite being a little top heavy, Amphitheater is still pretty damn good. It's brutal, uncompromising, chock full of great riffs, and has some very enjoyable moments. Recommended for death, brutal death, and death grind fans. So, have you listened to this album? If you did, what did you think about it? Please let me know in the comments below. If you want to go and listen to it after this, a link to the band's Bandcamp page will be in the description. If you liked this video, please subscribe and join the ranks of willing participants to my various experiments. Peace out.